Lumbar Plexus The lumbosacral plexus starts from L4 to S4. The lumbar plexus starts from L1 to L4 and it has six branches. So how do we remember these branches? I twice got lunch on Friday. I twice means we have two eyes. The eye is the iliohypogastric and the ilioinguinal. The gastric is proximal. The ilioinguinal is lower. So the iliohypogastric nerve has to come before the ilioinguinal. Got G for the genitofemoral nerve. Lunch started with the L for the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. On start with the O for the obturator nerve. Friday F is the femoral nerve. These are the six branches. This diagram will also show you the anterior division and the posterior division. Let's talk about the femoral nerve. Knee extension is done through muscles that are supplied by the femoral nerve, by L2, L3, and L4 nerve roots. The femoral nerve innervates the muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh, and these muscles called the quadriceps muscle, which causes knee extension. The femoral nerve also provides sensation to this area. The obturator nerve innervates the muscles on the medial compartment of the thigh. These muscles cause hip adduction and it is innervated by L2, L3, and L4 nerve roots. This is the area of sensation that is supplied by the obturator nerve. With its origin coming from the nerve roots of L2 and L3, the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh innervates the skin on the lateral aspect of the thigh. Risk of injury to the nerve can occur with bone graft and with hip and astabular procedures and with external fixture of the pelvis. This is the genitofemoral nerve and you can see the genitofemoral nerve comes from two nerve roots, L1 and L2. This is the sensory area of the genitofemoral nerve. This is the area of innervation of the iliohypogastric nerve. This is the area of innervation of the ilioinguinal nerve. Let's review again where these nerves come from. Six branches come from the lumbar plexus. Two branches come from one nerve root. Two branches come from three nerve roots. And two branches come from two nerve roots. The two nerves that arise from one nerve root are the iliohypogastric nerve and the ilioinguinal nerve, and both arise from L1 nerve root. Iliohypogastric is higher than the ilioinguinal, but the two come from L1. The two nerves that arise from two nerve roots are the genitofemoral nerve, which arises from L1-L2 nerve root, 
and the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, which arises from L2, L3 nerve root. The two nerves that arise from three nerve roots are the obturator nerve and the femoral nerve, which arise from two, three, and four nerve roots. There is also contribution from T12. The fourth lumbar nerve root also passes a branch to the lumbosacral trunk at the fifth lumbar nerve root. All nerves except the genitofemoral and the obturator emerge from the lateral aspect of the psoas major muscle. The genitofemoral emerge anteriorly and the obturator emerge medially in relationship to the psoas major muscle. I twice got lunch on Friday. Two branches come from one nerve root. Two branches come from two nerve roots. Two branches come from three nerve roots. So what if you can't remember anything? Well, remember two and three and four will give the obturator nerve and the femoral nerve. The obturator nerve and the femoral nerve are equal. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.